and I got two NFL totals to give out. Uh, we're going to start right off the bat with Carolina going into New Orleans. And let me just say this. This division is a mess. I think Atlanta will win this division. I actually personally bet Atlanta to win this division at minus 120. So there's a nugget for you. And I do like Carolina in this game at plus four. However, with that said, my bet on this game is the under. Who is going to score in this game? Now, I know it was last year, but the Panthers ended up scoring zero points two games in a row to end last season. They did not exactly revamp their offense. I consider their offense similar to what their offense was last year. Total crap. I don't know how we're going to get to 41 and a half. Now, I know the Panthers uh, have to, you know, their defense is god-awful. I get that. The problem, ultimately, for the overbetters is the New Orleans Saints have Derek Carr, and Derek Carr is prone to make massive mistakes. I think we're going to see an incredibly conservative offense from the New Orleans Saints. I think we're going to see it all year. I think we're going to see a heavy run game. I think we're going to see short outs, uh, some slants. I don't think we're going to see the New Orleans Saints stretch the field much. Now, the, the, the New Orleans Saints, from a defensive perspective, top 10 D unit last year. So here we have a horrible Carolina Panthers offense against a really decent Saints defense. And we have a Saints offense that's going to play extremely conservative. This number is simply too high. I think both teams go into this game looking to avoid making mistakes, take under the total. Before we get into the next game, and the next game is a client play, I want to remind you all, I got six bets for Sunday, six. One of them's a 5% play, one of them's a 4% play. You guys can use the promo code PREZ10, that's PREZ10, to get $10 off my Sunday package. Let's go to the New England Patriots. Full disclosure, I'm looking to bet the under in New England every single game this year. They have a terrible offense. They have a rock-solid defense, a great secondary, and I think they will be the most conservative offense in the entire league. However, we're not going to play the under in this game because I don't like the number that low in a Cincinnati Bengals game. What we're going to do, we're going to take – New England team total under 16 and a half. This is a team that the way I look at this game, simply put is if New England is going to move the chains, they're going to need all three downs to move the chains. That's going to eat the clock. And I think on defense, it's the same thing. I think New England's defense is good enough that Cincinnati is going to need three plays to move the chains. And that's going to eat the clock. I, uh, the reason I like New England team total under at 16 and a half. Last year, they averaged under 14 points a game. Now, I know they had QB troubles last year. Guess what? They got QB troubles this year, too. They have no wide receivers. Their running game is mediocre. They do have a decent offensive line, but I think we're going to see this team play a very similar style to last year and not put up more than 14, 15 points on average a game. That's it for the Daily Presidential Address. Take New England team total under 16 and a half and Carolina and New Orleans under 41 and a half. Thank you for watching.